Hi everyone. So I thought I would do a quick flip through of my new to me Giulio personal wide. Um, I did buy this pre-loved on the Giulio Marketplace Facebook buy sell trade group. Um, I've actually never ordered directly from Giulio before. All of my Giulios have been pre-loved. This is the dark brown Epoca leather and it is a by far my favorite leather from Giulio. So I hope to hang on to this bad boy for a long, long time. All right, so let's dive in. I am using decorative pieces from the Coco Daisy, um, both the November flannel and frost kit and their, Octo and their um, special Halloween kit that they had, um, as well as um, my clips and charms are from Kubu and Lucy. I have some bunny plans. Um, and I think that's it. So in here, I just have some, um, tabs, some stickies that I like to use and some other sticky notes. Um, this is from Kubu and Lucy. And then I just have some pretty decorative papers here. Um, I have an appointment card, some of my favorite bunny plan stickers, um, a important info in case my planner gets lost. And then back here, I just have some random scrap reference pieces of paper. This vellum is from Bunny Plans. And my first section uh, is my finance section. And um, these inserts are by Annie Plans. Um, and I have just a bill tracker. Let's see, okay, so first is my debt repayment. Um, there's a blank one. Uh, I have an online orders. There's a blank one. And then my budget is, looks like this. So I write down my bills and then I jot down any other kind of various expense or finance notes on this side. So I have to set up November. Um, and then my next section is my calendar. So I first have a 2020 overview where the gray dots represent my parenting schedule with my older boys. And then this has um, the months broken out in sections where you can jot down high level things, important things that you know that happen each month. Um, I do have a plan to go in and write for these, but this will be so great come 2021. Um, I just printed it a few weeks ago, so I'm not really sure if I'll fill it out. Then my next section is my monthly. I'm currently using Peanuts Planner Co. Um, she has a freebie that's a monthly calendar. Uh, I just figured rather than spending the money on a new one with just a few months left, um, I just use this freebie, but I do have Annie Plans 2021 um, printed out. Unfortunately, I think I have things written down, but that's just kind of what um, it looks like. Now, my next section is my weekly section, um, and I do have an inbox. Um, this is from SM Plans, and I just used like a sticky brush stroke sticker from Coco Daisy to kind of match my November color scheme. And then it goes right into the weeklies. I am currently using a week on one page with grid. This is what it looks like. I am, however, toying around with doing her week on two pages that has like notes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, if you know what I mean. But for right now, I have the rest of the year of these because these is my all time favorite insert. Um, I can actually show you how I have next week set up. I was feeling a little festive. So that's how I have next week set up. That's kind of my before the pen. Um, and then I just have a few kind of note pages. These are SM Plans Fall Florals. I think her 2019 Fall Florals. Um, they're probably my favorite. So I just have a few random note pages back there. Then I have kind of a sticky note dashboard that I made real quick just using some paper from the Coco Daisy kit and I just put my most used kind of tabs and sticky notes on here. Then my next section is my personal section. And again, it is an Annie Plans printable. Oh, I have this to write down um, appointments that I make for myself before I go and put them like into a calendar if I get a phone call real quick or something like that. And then my fitness insert is this insert that I'm using from her. 
I'll have to go on her website and see what she calls it. I have to finish my last couple days. Um, but I'm kind of using it to track my mood, sleep, stress, stuff like that here. And then on this section, I have my goals. Um, I try to set out monthly goals for my mind, body, soul, and home. And I kind of, on this side, write out what I want my goals to be. And then on this side, if on days that I do something to help me get there, um, I just kind of make a note of what that was. And I have the rest of the year. So then it goes into November. And this is what a blank one looks like. So, and then I have December. And then this is a tracker from Penis Planico that I just put in here, but I haven't really used it. And then this is a Girl Boss insert from Annie um, just to track some PR stuff that I do. The next section is my list of notes. I probably won't flip through here too much, but I have just some random note pages. Um, I have my passwords in this section, um, various lists, campgrounds we like to visit or want to visit next year, that kind of thing. So it's mostly any plans, SM plans, and Peanuts Politico in here. Then my next section is my home section and I have a Peanuts Planico recurring tasks that I'm working on setting up for um, the end of this year slash, you know, beginning of next year. And then I just printed this out yesterday because I remember how much I loved using it in my standard TN. It is from Paper and Cats um, and it's the Ink Ink Perfections um, designed it. Um, and you can put your daily tasks here and then your weekly tasks, monthly projects, and then a little space for notes. So I love that tailor at Paper and Cats. Went ahead and made this in lots of other sizes um, because it, I think I stay the most on top of my household stuff when in this insert. So like I said, I just went back and printed it yesterday and I'll probably start this next month in November because there's just a week left in October. Um, then I have my meal planning section and I use this from SM plans. It is her grocery list insert. And I just kind of use this as like a trigger food list when I'm putting in my online grocery order. Um, if I'm not in the house, you know, to look real quick, I'll, it's a good trigger list to be like, oh yeah, we need to get more popsicles or frozen pizzas for the kids or something like that. Um, and then I have my meal prep insert from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm not sure what the code is. Um, and I have like through, I think, Christmas in here. And I like to keep them in here because if I'm feeling blah about what to meal prep or plan for, I could use previous weeks as a reference. Um, and then I just have a separate list and then um, some pages for projects around the house. Um, that was just, oh no, oh no, I'll have to tape that. That was just a random list I had for the kids. Um, okay, so then next is my kids section, and I think maybe I can show you Maddox's, um, because I have started filling these in. So this is, um, a combination, I think, of Annie and Sierra, SM Plans. Um, I have a tab for each child. Oh, I can show you this. This is my kids' school um, schedule, so I pre-marked like what their their school calendar looks like. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll note on here, like if they're out for an appointment or sick, or if it's a snow day. And then for Adam and Garrett, they each have like a log to coordinate with the dot on this, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so here's Adams. It's pretty filled in, but it's got like an info sheet for doctor and schools. It's got a, I think this is his password tracker for his various logins and appointment tracker, um, a wish list for gift ideas, and then a temperature tracker. So that's Adams. Let me go to a blank one. I think I can show you Maddox's. Yeah, so his is still blank. So that's what it looks like. And he doesn't have passwords, obviously. <laughs> so that's the only insert missing from his section. Um, but this is the appointment tracker from Annie. Annie, a list for gifts. And that is it. 
Um, and then this vellum is from Bunny Plants. Um, it is the most luxurious vellum I've ever felt. I'm in love with her vellum. Um, and then I have Annie's address book and I keep that clipped just because there's a lot of personal information in there for, uh, for other people. And then I have this is a personal size pocket. It's apparently not on my rings correctly. Um, and in here I decorate the outside and I make like a little section to keep checks, stamps. I think I have some stencils in here. Um, and that's it. And then I have a page lifter and I don't have anything in these pockets. So I just stuck on this cute little happy Halloween card from Coco Daisy. I have some list pieces of paper in case I need to grab them. And in here I just have some bunny plan stickers and Nicole Hutch design stickers that I like to use often. And in the back, I usually keep, um, I have some important school paperwork and the sticker kits that I'm using um, for the month I usually keep back here. And that is it. Please comment below if you have any questions. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to be pretty good at tagging shops where I get all my planner goodies. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.